Hi, it's Kernetex here with a series of videos all about updating an old Gen 2 installation. So what do I mean by an old Gen 2 installation? Well, it's a an installation of Gen 2 that hasn't been updated in a while. And I'm going to show you a machine I've got that hasn't been updated in approximately a year or so. Um, when I've done this before, I've spent a lot of time trying to get packages to install and to cooperate. If you imagine you've got new packages that have come in um, which are not directly compatible with the older packages you've got installed in the system. Um, as far as dependencies go, you've got issues such as profile changes that occur occasionally. Um, you've also got things like toolchain changes. And if you know anything about toolchain, which consists of bin utils, glibc, gcc, and arguably the um, Linux headers as well. Um, they all need to uh, change versions in step with one another. They can't be too far out of step. Uh, they all go together as a as a unit, if you like. Uh, and then you've got other things such as major packages that are used by the system such as Python gets changed and that's certainly, there's certainly been a few changes with Python and Gen 2 in the last year or so as well as other changes certain um, packages get obsoleted and get removed out of the tree completely and so on so what I've found rather than trying to battle through doing a straightforward update I've got a different method which is what this video is all about or this series of videos is all about which shows how basically a remove a lot of the system, a lot of the packages in the system, um, update the core and then start reintroducing those packages back into the system. And yes, you could um, build Gen 2 up from scratch, but you've got the issue of spending time uh, rebuilding everything. So it's configuration files, putting in packages you had before. Uh, what MindBuster does is retains all that configuration and just deals with the upgrade itself as if it was an ordinary upgrade. Now obviously there's a lot of rebuilds to go on as you might imagine with a, a package, uh, sorry, an installation that's a year out of date or so. Um, so you might be thinking, well why, why rip it all out if you're just going to reinstall it? Why just don't do the update and let, let the um, portage system decide what's going to be updated? Well because of that amount of time you'll probably find that 90 plus, maybe 95% of the packages are going to be updated anyway. It's going to take time to install all of these. My idea is just save your grief, save the grief and the time of sitting at the keyboard hacking away a load of commands um, and just do a lot less work at the keyboard and let the computer just do its thing compiling all the packages. So that's the basic premise of this. So if I log in to this system um, and one thing also is because of the preparations do initially I'm not going to immediately be doing um, an update so I won't be synchronizing the repository straight away I'll be doing um, some changes initially and come a point where I've got the system down to a point where I'll do the update synchronize the um, uh, repository and then do the update and then start reintroducing the files, uh, the packages back into the system. So what I'm going to do then is let's go full screen with this. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is going to become root. And um, I think if I can do the queue list minus I V yeah let's put that through word count so there's 1264 packages installed at the moment and um, if you recall how Gen 2 works if, if you um, are aware of how it works when you install a package by hand um, for example I've got well KD for example that's installed on here they get installed into a file or recorded into a file called world and that's also referred to as the world set and that lives in this directory here so you can see there it is there and if I view that 
file you can see these are all the packages I've manually added um, and this also tells Portage that I don't want any of these packages to be removed the only way they can be removed from the system is I, if, I, if I explicitly um, type in the command to remove them so this is one of the key things going to be dealing with this and some of the configuration files um, because the problem is that there's so many interactions with dependencies that the update fails and you have to do little workarounds like delete individual packages or temporarily turn on and off flags and things the use flags and it's just it just sucks your time away um, like I say this this method is a little bit of a setup do the update a bit more setup to get things back in and then you just, you just leave it for hours on end compiling um, and this will take um, probably a few days I imagine um, maybe 24 hours but a few days work but most of the time it will just be a case of letting the computer do the compiling and obviously it does sort of um, suggest that it's best not to leave the Gen 2 to get too far out of date if the Gen 2 system is really out of date you'll probably find that things won't compile because packages are too old and there's no interim package to uh, update to so there's no trend transition packages if you like that can get you to the current packages and in that case um, I think really your only option is probably to do a reinstall I do remember seeing somewhere about using the stage 3 tarball as if you were using a brand new install to use that as a bridge to recover but um, fortunately I've never been in that situation where I've needed to do that um, so I've not not um, experience as to whether that's a reliable way of updating a really really old system but I say this one's about a year old I wouldn't expect there to be too many problems um, and it should be possible to update it without going to the ex that, that sort of extent although I won't I can't demonstrate it to you but if I was to um, do a sync now I, I could show you the, the awful problems that I'd have I'm, I'm I'm without without a doubt and knowing all the changes that have happened in Gen 2 over the year over the last year or so um, I'm in no doubt that I would have lots of problems trying to get this updated if I was to do a sync now and just try to battle my way through so like I say this this methods a little bit um, easier to deal with so what I want to do is to get rid of all of these world packages um, but some of the packages I want to keep because they're essential um, if I go back and view them again so things like the um, KDE apps all the KDE stuff, Plasma, graphical stuff I'm going to be ripping all that out because I don't need that um, although I'm actually running what I'm going to be deleting as long as I stay in this terminal is part of the reason why I've gone full screen actually um, just to stop me running anything else and just reminds me that I've got to just concentrate on doing the update um, as long as I'm in this terminal I shouldn't have any problems if I was to try to run something it might cause a problem well, it would certainly fail if it is not there but it might try and call other libraries or switch stuff in and out of memory and might cause me problems with the actual update but by sticking with the update the, the libraries that are in the memory at the moment will stay in the memory while I'm doing the update um, until we come to the end where I do the final reboot it, it should be no problem um, yes yeah, so I will be keeping some of these packages I'll be keeping some of these um, portage packages here um, and some to do with the kernel because the kernel 100% guaranteed will be updated in a year or so it gets updated regularly anyway every week or fortnight I can't remember now um, so I'll be keeping things like this these packages and GPM as well just in case something does happen with the graphical environment I have to drop back to a virtual environment um, GPM will be handy to copy and paste stuff and it shouldn't have too many dependencies and that's what this is all about it's reducing the dependencies that are in the system um, to allow the update to succeed <coughs> 